All right. I ordered this online after TikTok, Instagram, blah, blah, blah. They've all been suggesting uh, blue color correcting products. Um, now, these are designed to counteract orange, orange tones in foundations or concealers or whatever. I find that, look, I should show you my foundation drawer. Should I show it to you? I'll show it to you. Whatever. Let's do it. All right. This is my base product drawer. You can see some foundations and stuff that I have. I've got some concealers, illuminators. This is where I keep my powders. I don't have many powders. I'm sort of working through them. But this is what I've got that I'm trying to sort of work through and use up. One thing that I find really helpful if you are trying to use up some old foundations is having ways to tweak them. So, for example, if I have a foundation that's too dark, um, using like a lightening product. This is by Mecca Max. This is the Life Proof Liquid Lightener. Works really well. Pretty expensive. Um, you can get like squeezy tube um like drugstore concealers in the, like a lighter shade than yours to mix in and it works the same so that's a cheap way to do it especially when you see sales um but if something is too orange which i experience um blue blue corrects orange so if you look at the color wheel uh they're opposite colors so they correct so i have a concealer that i'm currently using this is the nars um soft matte complete concealer in custard it is a little bit too orange tone for me and a little bit too dark but you know it is what it is uh, i want to see if i can like what it looks like mixed with a little bit of this so i want to put one on one side and mixed on the other side and see how well this sort of product neutralizes and this is the la girl uh pro color foundation mixing pigment in blue so it is foundation mixing product um, i ordered this online and let's let's put these on Okay, so I'm trying to use this up. So I'm going to use it a little bit. I'm not really doing anything today. Um, I'm doing some editing and I'm doing some folding. And then my friend Simon's coming over. He's staying the night. Sleep over. Yay. Um, but let's put on this. So you can see that it's a concealer. Uh, so that's all I'm going to do for the full face. I'm just going to spread this out a little bit. Um, it is a little bit yellow toned or orange toned for me. It's not too, too bad. I've had much worse um sort of orangey tone foundations in the past but i've sort of been either decluttering or trying to work through them um but you can see that i think compared to my neck it is a little bit more sort of warm tone so let's see if we can neutralize this on the other side and then i'll stand in different lighting and we can see <laughs> concealer for foundation it can be quite bold i'll i'll try to shoot this down a bit so it's not not so cake face. All right, I just buffed that in a little bit with a kabuki brush, but it looks actually in person a lot nicer than it does on camera. So I'm going to pin my hair back. And what I'm going to do, I don't know the best way to do this because it's a pot concealer. I'm just thinking I'm going to put a little bit of the blue on the back of my hand. Now, it's, <laughs> it's very blue, but it's not, it's not, it's like a jelly sort of, it's, it's not super, super opaque, if you know what I mean. Like it's, it's fairly sheer. Um, so you, yeah, what I'm going to do is pick some up, some concealer up on my brush, like I did before, and then pick up some blue and just sort of mix it that way. Too much blue, too much blue. Now this is neutralizing it, but it's making it look a little bit more gray, which is quite neutral. Let's just see. All right, I'm just going to finish this and then can get back to you. I just want to find some lighting where it looks a little bit clearer. Um, I think it's very subtle. I think when I first put it on, it looked a little bit grey. But when you do compare it to my neck, it looks a lot more seamless. Whereas if you compare this side to my neck, you can see that that from there up looks a little bit warmer. And then my neck looks a little bit different. I don't know if you can actually see that. I can see that. Um, this would also work in bronzer. Maybe I should try it with bronzer. Obviously, cream because it's a liquid product. Um, so this is the Australis Dewy and Daring Bronzer. Uh, this is in the shade Ride or Die. Love the formula. This is a little bit warm for me. So let's put it on both sides. Oh my God, it looks ridiculous. Uh, and mix a little bit of blue with the other side. So I'm gonna get the same brush. Just blend this in. And I'll be back. All right, there we go. Looks nice and dewy, blends in really nicely, um, but it does look a little bit orangey. So let's get a little bit of blue and mix it. I think I need a little bit more blue. 
that's the thing this is deceptive it looks like it's going to be super pigmented and you're going to need the tiniest dot but then when you actually start blending it in it um tricks you hey i'll be back all right hopefully you can see a pretty big difference here so warm cooler i feel like it looks so much better in person than it does on camera but yeah definitely cooler toned definitely warmer toned now the only thing look this works the blue color corrector works a treat and neutralizing red tone so this one looks a little bit more harmonious i kind of like the bronzer look on this one a little bit more i just think it looks a little bit like a blush bronzer healthy sort of glow but if you are a person that has issues with uh, foundations being way too orange toned for you um, and you just have this graveyard of foundations that you like the formulas of uh, you might want to check out a blue color corrector a few brands do them like i said this was la girl um, i quite like the tone of this i think it's really good for neutralizing blue i've also seen elf bring out it's like a lighter blue the same kind of thing so a few brands do them if you want to check it out 